Good afternoon, this is CatTech here bringing you another video on information technology. Today I want to go over the CMOS battery real quick. I already made another video earlier today and I'm going to make one more going today. Um, I'm going over this because I'm going to go over the BIOS uh, tomorrow hopefully. Go over that and go over what things you could do inside the BIOS. So this is just a basic video on the CMOS battery and what it does and how it works. So, anyone knows what a CMOS battery is? It's basically a battery that looks like a circle. Um, it's, there's a plus and minus sign. Um, it's one of those little circle batteries that you find inside a watch or like a GigaPet or any of those like fancy toys that, that have a little circle on it. Sometimes some weight scales will have it as well. Um, the, bio, the, the, the CMOS battery will be located inside the motherboard, usually in the north or the south bridge of the motherboard. Um, it would be in a laptop or in a desktop PC. Uh, these batteries are important because they manage your BIOS settings. So if you change any BIOS settings or you change the date and time, it will manage that. So it's important to know that the date and time is really important because Microsoft, Microsoft emphasizes date and time because if you don't have the correct date and time, if it says 2017, 2016, you'll probably get a certificate error or security error on your Internet Explorer browser, i.e. Chrome. So it will affect your network. Your network is not going to work. Your internet will not work whatsoever. CMOS battery also is also related as a non-volatile battery. Um, you could do a CMOS reset if you're if you have a password in the BIOS. If someone put an administrator password on the BIOS and you cannot get into that computer or that laptop, and if you want to do a BIOS password reset, the easiest way to do it would be grabbing the battery, the circle battery, taking it out and putting it back in. And then that's how you reset your BIOS password. If it's an encryption password, you cannot do that. The only thing, the only way you could reset a BIOS password is by taking out the battery inside the BIOS settings. That's the only way you. That's the only thing you could reset. You can't reset um, like McAfee encryption keys or any other the other stuff. Because that's actually embedded on the hard drive, so you can't really do that. Or BitLocker, you can't do any of those other things. But a, a CMOS battery is important because it manages the date and time, it manages your BIOS settings. If you make any changes in the BIOS, like you add a password, you change the boot sequence, you change UFEI, you change SATA, ACHI, you, you enable Pixie Boot and all these other things, and the settings are not saving, it's probably because your BIOS is corrupted. You want to replace the battery. It's one of those small little batteries. It costs like five bucks. You change the battery, and you should be good to go. Um, these batteries depends on the depends on the make of the model, depends how much you use the computer. These batteries can last two to three years. Um, sometimes it lasts a little longer, sometimes it lasts more, sometimes it lasts less. It really depends on you, depends on how you use your computer. Um, you have to replace the battery. If you don't replace it, your computer will have network problems. Your internet will not work whatsoever. I had this issue with someone, their laptop wasn't working. I changed the date and time. It reverts back to whatever I had it before and then the, the, it just the internet just wouldn't work. He thought it was a NIC card. I knew what it was immediately because I have hardware experience. And I told him that I have to change the battery. And he's like, how much is the battery? And then like, I was just like, it's just $5. Okay, so I changed the battery for him. And I charged him like 40 bucks. Quick, easy fix to make money. If anyone has if anyone has this issue that you know with their laptop or desktop, it's an easy fix. You just take the battery out, replace it, pop it out with a flathead. Take it out, put it back in, and then you should be on your way. And you should be good to go after that. Um... And with that being said, that's about it. I just wanted to go over this real quick. I am going to go over the BIOS at some point tomorrow. And I wanted to make this video so everyone understands what it, what 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 a CMOS battery is and how it relates to the BIOS. I hope everyone has a great day. Rate, comment, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Give me that thumbs up. Give, make that thumbs up blue for me. I greatly appreciate it. And um, happy Saturday and take care. Bye.